Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. So if you're new to the channel, Jason with CV Customs, and I appreciate you stopping by today. We're going to talk about the uh, infamous Power Stroke 6.0. Um, I actually like these engines, but they're, there are some fail points. We're gonna go over some of those. Mainly we're gonna focus on the injection system and how it works and where they leak. Um, this engine uses a high pressure oil to, uh, how do you say that? It uses high pressure oil in the injector and an electric signal that lets that oil go down and open a plunger to get the diesel out to the uh, to the tip of the injector. So it uses high pressure oil and an electric signal to get diesel into the combustion chamber. That's kind of the best way to put it. So we're gonna go over how that system works, where they leak, what to look for, and let's get into it. Okay, so starting with the high pressure oil pump, this is the high pressure oil pump. This is the IPR. Now this pump is for the uh, later model 6.0s, like the uh, 05 and up. Now, before we get going into that, this piece right here comes factory with a, like a plastic clip, and this is already the upgraded piece. So this, this is a key spot where you'll lose oil pressure. So we'll just get that out of the way. Now let's just talk about the way it works. This gear runs on the cam, on the 6.0s, the cam comes in from the back of the engine. So this is setting at the back of the engine. And honestly, it kind of looks like uh, if the head's this way, right? Because we got our ICP over there, IPR over here. It'd be like this. And then this tube, we got a tube over here, is gonna go up and feed this rail. This rail goes on top of the heads. We'll go over where it leaks. In just a second I just want to show you it sits on the head and all of these little tubes right here right here right here set inside the injector just like that so what that's gonna do is it's gonna provide high pressure oil to the injector and then these solenoids right here just go back and forth like crazy as the engines running there's a valley inside the head that feeds the injector with diesel so the, the oil obviously isn't going into the combustion chamber, the diesel is. It's just using high pressure oil to activate the fuel sending. <clears throat> so we know that these things have a problem with losing high pressure oil. And these two pieces are some of the biggest fail points. And it's usually the dummy plug. You want to make sure that they're 12 millimeter Allens, if not replace them anyways. But when you, when you replace the feeder tube, standpipe, you're gonna re replace it as a set, replace the whole thing. Um, I also, I don't reuse them because we're rebuilding this engine. These won't be reused because they're such a fail point. So the pump's gonna feed high pressure oil. It's gonna go through this tube. This is setting under the head on the block. This goes through the head. This is on top of the head and then it plugs in through this tube here. When you lose high pressure oil, it's usually one of these O-rings on the dummy plugs and stuff. Now, you can also lose the O-ring right here, and there's an O-ring on the bottom of the pump right here. All those places are places that can lose a seal. All right, now, real quick. The IPR regulates the high pressure oil pump. You gotta have 500 PSI just to start but it can get as high as 2,000. I mean, it gets really high. And it communicates with the I IPC, well, IPR, IPC, something like that. Injection control pressure, injection pressure regulator. I don't know, these acronyms throw me off sometimes, but these two communicate back and forth. So you could have a problem there too, but as far as a leak goes, which is what we're talking about, is right here. I can, I can do another video on how to test it. We've got a testing tool and we'll use this port to do it. Again, this is on the later 05s. Now, or 05 and later. Now what we're gonna get into after this is uh, what failed on this engine. This is the way the high pressure oil system works and these are the things you're gonna look at. But this engine had multiple problems and we'll go through it one by one. We'll start with the low pressure oil system. So let's get over there and talk about that. Okay, so this is the front cover. So the crank's coming out right here, the water pump's right here. This is the oil pump. It goes right here, runs on the crankshaft. 
and that's your your low pressure oil now key things you want to look at this is the cover that's going to go over the oil pump crankshaft comes out here let me see if i can get it in here see all these grooves the light's not really helping there you, you can see it there if you have grooves like that this has to be replaced now these same grooves are in here so we're going to do the front cover they do make a repair kit where you put a new plate back there and things like that but i don't like doing that especially because we're rebuilding we're just going to replace so we're going to replace the front cover i would guess that this uh bypass valve is uh, probably worn too because something went through this engine but let's take a look at the oil pump now something definitely went through this engine this should be super smooth works inside these gears let's see if we can get a good look at it in there you can see a big nick on this guy here right there they're like everywhere so yeah this pumps warm you also see grooves here again I'm trying to get it without the glare and the backside's not all that bad but anyways so something went through the oil system, and that's what shot this. The high-pressure oil pump had just been replaced, so they were chasing problems. They didn't think it was internal, and then I got it. So we had to open it up because I kind of figured it was something internal. Um, while we're looking at the front cover, I've got the water pump off. This is another common fail point because they come with plastic impellers. This is actually a bulletproof diesel pump. So it's got an aluminum impeller. But if you look at the impellers, to see if I can show you, see the teeth there? Something went through the cooling system as well. It's all nicked up everywhere. Now, with the oil system cooled, this thing isn't damaged enough that it has to be replaced, and this, this is not a cheap water pump. As long as nothing else is gonna hit it, this stuff is, is probably gonna survive. But I'm kinda thinking either somebody tried to destroy this engine this truck was bought at auction, and I'm, I'm working on it for the customer that bought it at auction. Or another idea I had was maybe somebody filled up the fluids and used the same funnel for the water and the oil, and the filter was, or I mean, the, the funnel was contaminated, you know, and little shards of something got in there, but something got into the coolant system and to the oil system. But it doesn't stop there. We'll take a look at the turbo in a second, and I'll show you what's going on with the turbo. This thing had all kinds of other problems. Um, the other thing I want to show you, just because we're also talking about fail points, is the glow plugs. They fail when you replace them. Replace all of them. And the glow plug harness, there's a left and a right, and these are all hard plastic. When you pop them off, they usually break. So if you're going to do a glow plug system, count on getting this. They're really not that expensive, and you might as well do it. And the glow plug module, or control module, I've seen it fail, doesn't fail all the time, but it sets right on top of the head on these O5s, it's, it's pretty easy to get to. So before we look at the turbo, I'll also show you the EGR cooler, another fail point, and what to look for to see if your EGR cooler is good. Let's see if we can get it in there, you can see, see those tubes? You want to see tubes there, and then you want to look inside this port and also see tubes. If you see something that looks like radiator fins, Replace it. Update it to what it needs. Oh, one other thing. Let's jump back over here on the rail because there's one more place where these things might leak and I want to make sure you see it. This plug right here. There's an O-ring there and they can leak there. Again, we'll do another video on actually testing it so you can see that on an engine, but uh, this plug is also a fail point, so check that. All right, let's go look at that turbo. Oh. Okay, so the turbo's still sitting on the back of the truck here. It's a nice flatbed, but look at this impeller. It's the right lighting. You can see that dude is all chewed up. I'm gonna turn it so you can see the teeth. So something went through the intake system as well. Not 100% sure what happened. Either somebody tried to take this thing out, or it's just a combination of a bunch of different problems, and that's what happened. So we will have to tank the radiator and get everything clear. So now, real quick too, see, everything I take off the engine before I pull it goes in the back of the truck. And then once I pull the engine, everything that comes off the engine while it's out of the truck goes on a, a 
shelving system so that I can empty the shelving system when I build the engine and then put it back in the truck. So let's get back over here. Do a little close up. I tried to lay everything out so I wouldn't forget. This screen sets underneath your oil cooler, which is also a fail point, but uh, that I don't have set in here to show you. But this screen, if it, if it gets plugged up, can be a problem. But what happens, if you look right here, the screen's broken. Have to replace it. Anytime you do the oil cooler, just go ahead and replace that. So there's the common fail points on this engine. Okay guys, so if you made it to the end of the video, this is the 6 we're gonna build. I'm gonna do a, an actual video on putting the engine together. I just wanted to show you the fail points, kind of go over that high pressure system so that uh, when you're looking for those leaks on the high pressure system, you know what you're looking for and maybe a little bit of understanding on how that injection system works. Didn't try to get too in depth, just the basics, but uh, I hope you like it and stay tuned for the engine build. We'll put together a 6 from the bottom up. It's at the machine shop right now, so we'll see when it gets here.